All right, guys, so teachers, you know, make 15 to 20 percent less than uh, a lot of other professionals do. Um, is it really worth bothering them over this tenure issue? I mean, is tenure really um, such a big, big deal uh, in terms of costs? I mean, we're, we're being basically underpaid. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> to, you know, to sort of harass, I would say, uh, faculty uh, for something that gives them a little security. We should leave it, people alone and allow them to have the security if they earn the security. We act as if tenure is like this welfare program. It's like, oh, great, now you're on the dole, you know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It, it didn't cost the university anything. If anything, it adds value by Professor Obi's, you know, analysis of value, which is a significant and excellent analysis. It does add value to students. It does add value to the institution. Mm -hmm. It's not taking anything away from anybody. And if we it, keep assaulting an, tenure, it's going to assault, it's, it's going to destroy education. Yes. It is an incentive. Yeah, it's it an is. incentive. And we do get paid and, less. And, and, in, and, if, and if, and I'm trying to give a balanced view here, and if at any time that incentive ceases to incentivize your performance, then you revisit not the tenure itself, That's right. but the process, uh, the components of the process. For example, merit pay, like you mentioned, is one of them. Uh, committee assignments and, and, and other aspects of university professional life that can give you a sense of pride. You know, you can get the individual away from those. And there are so many aspects to it, you know. And, uh, and so I think that while I'm not personally so gone ho on tenure, I, I, I support it. I see it as an incentive tool. And to that extent, it does have merit. And if any person after tenure ceases to become effective, then use other means within the institution to get the individual away from right being, I mean um, if you're tenure impediments. <laughs> if you're tenured the only way really you can be uh, removed is if your department ceases, ceases to exist or or if uh, your course or, is or, no longer offered or right, more oh, right. is, is that right oh, yeah. absolutely okay yeah, I didn't yeah, know about course, that yes. I thought as long as your department yes. wasn't there which probably yeah. means something's going actually on. if your department is not there you can still be there in so far as you get reassigned somewhere else but if your course no longer offered because right. there is no enrollment that's it for right. you right. or moral uh, turpitude turpitude uh, is another uh, basis but let me ask you, at say, for instance, the college level, okay, where you don't have uh, big research going on, you may be writing articles, uh, wouldn't a union, like say, for instance, at City Colleges, we have a union, wouldn't a union uh, for full-time faculty suffice? I'm not big on unions, so uh, I, uh, I would be giving a very and, biased And how about yeah. that, that, that phenomenon going on, say, at City Colleges and many public universities where you have a union and you have a tenured prof professor, now you have double shield. It depends on how strong your union is. I mean, right. that's, that's, I mean, yes, you do have the shield of tenure, but, it, it, you know, there are a lot of work rules that come into play that a lot of people forget about. Yes, you do have tenure. Yes, it makes it very difficult to get rid of you. But if you do not, if administration says, well, you didn't follow a certain directive that we laid down, then at that point you become insubordinate. And then the minute you become insubordinate, that's when the work rules come into play. Absolutely. And once when the work rules right. come into play, that's when you need that union to protect you on that side. That's when you got to make sure you enforce your wine garden rights and things of that nature. So that's, I think, where the union is, is important. And it's no, different I, functions. Mike, it's different Mike functions. makes a very important point because yeah. Uh, violation of policy mm -hmm. is not going to, um, uh, uh, tenure is not going to protect you as far right. as that's concerned. Yeah. I right. think that's what we, you know, sometimes, or maybe the general public, not people in academia, don't feel that tenure is like, you got tenure, you just can do whatever, you know. That's right. You just jump like on that. the desk and take your clothes. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's not to take that point. I was going to say take your clothes off. Yeah. It's not to that point. You know, you still, you think, still can lose your position you can, correct. though you have tenure. I think this is a misconception that, that the outside world may have. Yeah, so I mean, it, those things can be abused. I had a law professor once upon a time who would put uh, almost, uh, I would call him half-rated X, uh, pictures of his young wife mm. up on the screen and it was borderline but he was tenured nobody could do anything to him because he kept it he knew at what, what side of the line to keep it but yeah. he was definitely on the border and and, again, and, and so yeah. but it made yeah. the class very interesting his class was an interesting class and you would not have had that experience with a part-time faculty member because no he or she would have known they would have come in and and with the same man yeah. uh, right. unfortunately <laughs> we have to uh, close again thank you very much for being on the show thanks for having us thank you thanks. thank you